On today's episode, I'll show you how to make this easy to build sandpaper cabinet using only a few pieces of plywood. To begin, I'll start by ripping the half inch plywood for the top, sides, and divider. I use the miter saw to get the boards to the final length. You will notice in the video that I'm using a stop block. This helps to ensure that the boards are the same exact length when cutting them at the miter saw. I'm laying out the case pieces to mark the joinery. For this project, I've decided to use the housing joint. I will be using my dado blade to remove the waste in the areas I've marked out with the black marker. This is a picture of the completed cabinet. The top has sort of a tongue that sticks into a groove on the side panels. I like to mark all of my pieces to be prepared for when I start cutting the joinery. With the dado blade in, I begin cutting the side panels. With one side cut, I rotate the board to cut the groove in the other side. I repeat these same steps for the other panel. Now it's time to cut the tongue on the top and bottom panels. I've installed a sacrificial fence to prevent my dado blade from cutting my table saw fence. If the tongue is too tight in the groove, raise the dado blade to take off more wood. But be careful not to remove too much. Barely raise the blade until it's a perfect fit. Now it's time to cut the dados for the dividers. The plywood I used isn't exactly half an inch in thickness. This will require me to add shims to my dado stack until the fit is just right. With the fence set in the correct position, I slowly push the wood over the blade. Without moving the fence, I cut the dado in both the top and bottom boards to ensure that the grooves are lined up perfectly. Now it's time to cut the quarter inch plywood for the vertical and horizontal dividers. Using the crosscut sled, I cut all of the dividers to their final length. I'm transferring the marks for the dados from the side panel to the divider. Now I begin cutting the dados. Yep, you guessed it, more dados. This time I'm cutting the grooves to the right side compartments where the sanding discs are going. It's glue up time. I always do a dry run with clamps to try to figure out what parts I start with and get some sort of order. I wipe up any excess using a damp cloth. I'm only gluing the case and vertical dividers. I'm not gluing the horizontal dividers. I'm sure you've noticed by now, but I had quite a bit of tear out while cutting the dados. The combination of dull blades and cheap plywood will result in a not so great quality cut. Good thing it's only a shop project. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the end result. Since the dividers aren't glued in, it makes the cabinet customizable in what I can store in it. Thanks for watching.